The mission of the Kansas Firefighters Museum is to honor and help our fallen firefighters and their families. And to fund their mission, they create the Kansas Firefighter Calendar. Bill Gibbs is here to talk about how they choose who makes the cut. Uh, Bill, thanks a lot for being with us today. Oh, we appreciate thank you, for you stopping me. by. Now, not only did you make the cut, let's cut right to the chase. You got the cover. Yes. Hold, yes. That, th hold that thing up. This is, I mean, yeah, so so how many hours a day do you spend in a gym? 21, 22? Oh, it just depends on what I'm trying to get done. What you're you know? trying to get done. Yeah. Have you done this before? Have you been in the calendar before? Yeah, this uh, this one time, 2014, some people talked me into it, so I said finally said yes. Okay, so I know that you guys have a lot of fun with this. Do you, do you have any good-natured ribbing that goes back and forth between the firefighters? Oh, fire? absolutely. I mean, what's that like? Shed a little light on oh, that. Oh, absolutely, especially at the fire station. I mean, yeah. if, you, if you're not thick-skinned, don't get on the fire department. So, yeah, there's a lot of things that go back and forth, you know, but just be able to take it, and, you know, and just know it's a little bit about jealousy. <laughs> well, that, you know, that, that's true. I, I understand. Uh, so, seriously, though, how much time do you put? I mean, do you put more time? In the gym, in the before you do your shoot, or how, I mean, how does that work? Well, you know, the good thing about firefighting is we're always promoting uh, healthy uh, healthiness. I mean, it's and important so, for your career. Exactly. Right? So they they allot us time during our work day to be able to work out. We have a workout facility at all the fire stations, so we're able to work out there. And you know, and it's just a matter of you know eating right as well. So it's usually 20% what you do in the gym and 80% what you put in your mouth. Oh boy, I hate to hear that. That's uh, that's too bad. You guys do this for a great cause. That's really the reason you're out here. Exactly. Doing this. Can you talk about about some of that? Yeah. First and foremost, you know, we got the coats for kids. Right. Um, you know, I mean, I've been involved with that. You know, handing out the coats to the kids and stuff, and that's just that's just heartwarming there. And then we have also the fire camp, which is fully funded now. I mean, it's free to kids. So fire camp for kids, that's great. And then we have a new uh, thing that's coming online. Uh, they've done some new discoveries and everything. You know, they're finding out that cancer is running rampant through the fire service yeah, yeah. Um, due, to, uh, de or due to contamination during fire scenes. Right. So uh, what we're doing now is we're looking at purchasing uh, decon kits for the firefighters to help um, knock down the, uh, the the cancer rates that are growing rapidly within the fire service. I know KSN's own Stephanie Bergman did a story on that not too long ago, and I'm sure that's really important uh, for you guys as well. What, what does it mean to be able to take this job, which is very important at face value, but give back to the com community at the same time? What's that mean to you guys? Well, you know, a lot of the guys get on the fire service in the first place because they're, they're drawn to serve people and to yeah. help people, and that's what they want to do. So giving back to the community just goes hand in hand with it. Really. You've done this your whole life. You said you were in the Air Force before. And I, was I, in, I was a cop in the Air Force for six years, and yeah. I've been doing this for 23 years. Well, as a fantastic. Fire fire, so, we, yeah. we appreciate your service, no doubt about it. All right, uh, you've got an event coming up tonight. Right? Exactly. It, okay, what's that about? That is the judging event, um, and that's where we have a group of select firefighters that uh, want to be involved with the calendar. So we're, th we're thinking, thinking next year now, correct? Yes, this will be for 2016 okay. calendar. So it's a fun event. Um, you know, we just have a lot of fun with it. There's going to be a group of us up on stage. And, you know, we've got local celebrities are going to be sure. judging. And just it's, it's a real good time. It's a, it's a fun event for, for a good night out. Now, you have to be a firefighter, I assume, to be in the calendar? Yes, you have to be a firefighter. So that, that would be, that'd be the only reason right. that I would be excluded from the competition. Well, yeah. Sorry to say, I, I was rad. I've been working out, spending a lot of time. Mm -hmm. I was really gearing up for this. Hate to hear that. Now, i got to say this, Bill, to be fair to both sides, you've had some women in the calendar in the past. No women this year? No, there are. Oh, there are women this there year? There are. There's several of them. Yeah. Well, conveniently, our female editor cut them out of the video that she cut for this year's <laughs> show. So we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to have a talk about that. No, I, I think the bottom line is, you know, you guys take what you're what you're doing seriously, but you have a good time with this. And, and at the end of the day, we're helping out people locally. Exactly. That need to help. Exactly. Well, That's hey, I really about. appreciate you stopping by. Have a blast tonight. I know you All guys right. do every year. And we do want to remind folks about the event. The judging event is tonight. The Wichita Scottish Ride Center at 332 East First Street. Starts at 6.30. General admission tickets, just 20 bucks. But if you want to sit, VIP tickets are $40. And before you go, Bill, I've got to say thanks for making the rest of us feel bad about ourselves. Oh, my pleasure. No, great to see you. <laughs> thanks a lot for stopping Thank by. Thank you. Man. Appreciate it. Well, the former defense